Mr. Shannon was murdered. Aren't the police doing whatever they can? The police made no connection. <gasps> Most of the girls found were reported missing years ago. Why? It'd take 20 years to catch them. Welcome back. That was a clip from Lifetime's original movie, The Gilgo Beach Killer, inspired by Mary Gilbert's search for her daughter that led investigators to the discovery of the bodies of numerous women on Long Island believed to have fallen prey to a serial killer. Joining us now is the movie's executive producer and Inside Edition host, Deborah Norvo. Yeah. Welcome back. Woo. I should say I'm one of the executive producers, That's but very it. proud to be tooting our horn on this movie. <laughs> I love that. All right, Deborah, let's jump right in. Thank you for being here. It took over 10 years to make an arrest in the Gilgo Beach serial killings cold case. When did you become interested in this case specifically? Well, right when, when the bodies were first found. Uh, this was back in 2010, when the first of what ultimately were 11 different bodies were found in the abandoned beaches of uh, the desolate beaches of Long Island. And those bodies were found because of the character that you just saw in the clip that you played. Mary Gilbert's daughter, Shannon, went missing. She was an escort, as were virtually all of the women whose bodies have been found on Long Island. The work of a serial killer or serial killers and no one was doing anything about it. And this woman persisted. And that's the story we're telling Sunday night on Lifetime. Had it not been for the efforts of Mary Gilbert, we likely wouldn't know that any of these people had been murdered, that there was a serial killer in our midst. And Lifetime prides itself the month of August of doing rip from the headlines movies. Well, we weren't even scheduled to be on the slate, but when the arrest of Rex Hewerman was made on July the 13th, everybody went, holy smokes, we have a movie about the woman who made this happen. So we've updated the information. It's feature film with documentary style information at the end of it to give you the very latest of what's going on in this investigation. It gives me goosebumps. It could not have come at a better, I mean, at not a better time, but a more perfect time. I've been following the story for years. Yeah. I want to know your take on this. Rex Hewerman is the man suspected of being the Long Island serial killer. We're showing his face here, and I want to yep. know your thoughts, because what did you think when you saw what he looked like and when you learned some details about his personal life, about his house, what his neighbor said? It gave me a lot of insight. I wanted to know your thoughts. Well, it certainly falls into what we've seen is sort of the... the the archetype of the serial killer, narcissistic, yeah. um, self-centered, um, able to compartmentalize one's life. We, we've we learned uh, very different things about the way Rex Hewerman uh, lived. When one of the murders allegedly took place, his wife was out of the country. So it would appear that some of the evidence in the case against him will be the way to which he was able to compartmentalize his life as an architect, a respectable businessman in New York City, and the apparent work of a serial killer who preyed on women who worked in the sex trade. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, as you and I are speaking today, this morning, the Long Island police, the Suffolk County police announced that they have made yet another identification. Jane Doe number seven Jeez. has now been identified. So as we're sitting here, right. this very cold case continues to yield new information. Right, wow. in real time. Um, wow. Okay, so the Gilgo Beach Killer movie will feature you providing these new details, as you just stated, exactly. from the horrific case. Can you give us a preview of what you will be sharing? Yeah, absolutely. So, as I said, this case only happened because Mary Gilbert insisted that the cops investigate the disappearance of her daughter. So that's the feature film that we start with. And then we've skillfully removed a little bit of the movie so we would have time at the end to give the audience the latest on what's going on. That an arrest was made. Why an arrest was made. Why 13 years after the first bodies were identified and the first bodies that were found were the Gilgo Beach Four. Mm -hmm. Four women who were wrapped in burlap found more or less within 500 feet of one another when they thought they were going to find Shannon Gilbert. They found these four instead. Those are three of the four um, women's deaths are the ones for whom Rex Hewerman has been charged. He's suspected in the fourth. So we'll give you the information as to how they were able to link him to those four 
deaths, how they were able to triangulate the information of his location in Long Island, Massapequa Park, his location in Manhattan, where his architecture office was located, and a little bit of insight into the cop work that went on and why did it take 13 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. for anyone to have any answers? Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us on DBL today. To our viewers, The Gilgo Beach Killer airs Sunday, August 6th on Lifetime. Thanks again, Deborah. We appreciate you. Wow. Thank Good you. to see you. you. We'll be right back.